All right, boys and girls, she's all done. This was the complete one system. With exception of the um, universal dressing that I'm going to launch, I actually used the um, universal coating right there on the tires. And you can see they're not incredibly glossy, but they have a nice new look, nice matte finish. Uh, now, it's subjective. Every Everything detailing is subjective to, you know, to the person that's you know going to be enjoying the products whether they're using them to enjoy them or whether they get to have someone else use the products on the vehicle and they get to enjoy them that way it's just so many opinions involved in detailing so i would say i did a poll on facebook who likes a licorice scent because i was going to make the new universal dressing licorice scent because I love it but it was unanimous that people just did not love that scent so I'm not gonna put it in the uh, in the new product uh, it will be a papaya scent and it will be orange uh, that's what the new universal dressing will be so I will not be adding to this lineup any further. I don't believe there's any more holes in the line. In fact, I didn't think there was a hole in the line until I had someone else use the universal coating on tires for a customer and the customer wanted them glossier. And unfortunately, I couldn't provide that with the uh, universal coating because it's, it's designed to be a protective product, not necessarily a um, gloss enhancer per se it does enhance gloss uh, just mainly because depth gloss and shine all play a part in um, you know the final outcome but anyway so I'm adding the universal dressing to the lineup of those six products so there will be seven total in the one system I have also had people ask me, well, why don't you add infinite cut and infinite finish to this lineup? The answer, quite simply, is most customers, I would say 95 to 98% of them, have no interest in paint correction. But the universal all-in-one that is in the one system really gives them uh, the opportunity to get a lot for a little. And as far as value goes, an all-in-one is far more valuable as far as the return on your investment, not only as a detailer, but also as a, con a consumer or enthusiast or even a customer um, than full-on paint correction. So you get more for your money with an all-in-one. You don't get all those deep scratches removed. You don't get all of the you know, super deep swirls removed a lot of the time, but this one universal coating or universal all-in-one cuts really well but it also leaves a fantastically polished finish behind i mean you can see that the gloss is intense it is infinitely clear it looks awesome deep dark black those wheels are popping the gloss is awesome So, the one system will be seven products. If you're not one that uses a shampoo, you don't necessarily have to get the universal shampoo. Um, there are instances where you're gonna have to do a traditional wash. It's best to have it. In fact, the master kits uh, with, uh, I better not say anything any more about that. Look at that shot. Look at that gloss. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Look at this, look at that, look at this. Anyway, there's no doubt that this is awesomely glossy. So, all in on the one system from washing it with the Gary Dean wash method and, and uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, I actually used a quarter of an ounce of product in that two gallon bucket with one gallon of water in it. I washed the car with that. Um, the lube 
it's actually diluted in this 16 ounce bottle. I put a half of an ounce of Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 in this 16 ounce spray bottle and I filled it up with water. Um, not a whole lot of color left in that. But the solution actually works very well. It's pretty slick and glossy in its own right. Uh, so anyway, I used the, and that's if we had to discuss what that dilution was, it's basically that half an ounce in that 16 ounce bottle is, uh, so there's eight 16s in a gallon. So that would be the equivalent to four, ga four ounces in a gallon uh, for pre-soak and lube. So I actually used that to lubricate the surface for the clay bar. And obviously I used my Japanese clay bar uh, it's a ultra fine clay that won't mar the surface of the paint, but it also is heavy duty at removing contaminants, which is why I love that bar and why I import them from Japan. And I have been for years. That's been my favorite bar for, well, since I stopped using those, uh, clay pads, which I found did more harm than good. Uh, those, uh, clay mitts and that kind of thing, I'm not a fan. I went back to uh, old school clay because it works better. So anyway, after I washed and clay barred with the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, I then wiped everything down with the Universal Clean and Prep. I brought a gallon of it with me today. I'm actually uh, messing around with the Makita here. This is my new toy. Uh, that thing works amazing. And I was telling you earlier about the hooks here. These hooks are awesome for hanging your guns on. So uh, I actually used this one to spray the universal coating, which is the step after wiping everything down with the universal clean and prep. That product actually will not only strip any and everything off that's on the paint, but it will also leave behind a priming catalyst so that my coatings in the lineup, universal coating and ultra endurance max coat will bond better. So bonding is half the battle prep and making it bond is half the battle and then a good solid quality coating is the other half so uh, that's where we're at so you guys saw me spray on the universal coating i did that demo on that door um, and then i immediately applied the ultra endurance max coat with a foam applicator pad uh, those two together they create a crazy hard crazy slick crazy glossy finish i mean it is just awesome the wash induced marring re resistance that you get from that is pretty great um you know there's a lot of companies out there that tell you of these you know these h ratings and i got a 9h this and a 57h this and a 40 million h well all those lab tests don't mean anything to me uh, what I know is real world. This stuff will definitely help reduce wash and do smarring. It'll help. Uh, it, it increases the surface tension so contaminants can't bond. Um, the pro combo that I applied to this car, I give a five-year warranty for. Uh, that the product is going to last and do what I say it does for the entire duration of that warranty. Or I will replace the product at no charge. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, it looks great. You can tell that I applied uh, all the coating to the wheels, all the glass, which you did see that in the demo I did. So wheels, glass, paint, chrome, everything. Uh, we went inside the car, went inside the car and did a thorough detail on that as well. Uh, all the door jams were wiped out and cleaned. Everything on the interior was clean. Leather was cleaned. I shampooed the carpets. I cannot get that stain out. Not sure what's going on there. So, really nice and clean. Solid detail. Um, I also went into the trunk as usual and got all that vacuumed out and clean and then um uh hit this jam really well i polished it and uh got it nice and protected too lots of dust running around on this thing but 
he's got a nasty ding right there on the crease. I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. But that's where we're at. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm super excited to release this new One system. It literally is all that you need with no complication. Everything's super easy to use. Um, the value is incredible. They're all concentrates. Even the ones that are ready to use out of the bottle, uh, those products require less than competitive products to get a whole car done. For example, the Universal All-in-One, I'm selling all these products in two ounce, eight ounce, and 16 ounce. That is it right now. Um, if demand is great enough for gallons, I might release those, but at this point, only those three sizes will be available. But as far as this whole black Tesla, doing one section pass on each panel, now that hood was four different panels basically, I used only, I actually used less than one ounce of product on this whole vehicle. Less than one ounce of product. As far as the uh, universal coating, because I sprayed it with that HPLV spray gun, I used how much did I use? I probably, oh, I looked at it already. So I put about a half of an ounce in there and um, it just ran out as I was doing the last fender. I had to add just a few more drops. So I used a half of an ounce uh, on the whole car, all the glass, all the wheels, paint, everything. And as far as the Ultra Endurance Max Coat, I used about a half an ounce of that as well, wiping down the whole car. Um, I mentioned earlier you leave it sit for a couple seconds, or maybe I said a couple minutes. I want you guys, when you apply the Universal Coating, I want you to immediately apply the Ultra Endurance Max Coat, but I want you to let that sit for 15 minutes out of direct sunlight if you can, then buff it off. It's easier once everything is... is uh, hazed up like it's supposed to be and then if you have any issues with removal which i didn't uh but if you do you can use uh the infinite use detail juice one just to lubricate it a little bit it has the same protective stuff in it but none none of the uh the advanced uh hardener that the other two products use but it, it has the same ceramic acrylics technology in it so you're not hurting anything uh to use the infinite use detail juice one to aid in removal if you had to so nothing wrong with that or even try your uh lube matter of fact the uh lube dilution four ounces to one uh to one gallon that actually helps a lot too all right guys you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. I'm about to help my lovely assistant finish up that Mercedes, and then we are out of here. I spent about six hours on this car. I did every step in the one system. It's a good deal. Uh, six hours to do a complete, not quite paint correction and coating, but you guys get what I'm saying. Every step from clean, prep, and decontamination, um, wipe down, polish, one polishing step, and then two uh, coating applications on top of that. Right around six hours, we're actually about five and a half-ish hours. I'm still gonna do one more wipe down, make sure there's no streaks. So I'm, I'm rounding up to six. So six hours to do this, awesome. Uh, so now I have to get you guys the information on the packages and what I recommend for pricing on this, but that'll be very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.